Wow. Wow. Hey everyone, it's me, Juggy Discussion, and I'm here again for another discussion video, episode 17 of My Virtual Escape, also known as Little Gangbanger. A phenomenal episode. I am astonished for with how uh, well put together it was. Um, so, let's just jump into it. Hope you guys are having an amazing day, but yeah, let's get right into it. So we start off with finding out that Isaac chooses to see Rebecca instead of Leo, which I still think was a, uh, what do you call it, a mistake because Rebecca states that she has a handheld mirror. However, this does lead into way more shit that Isaac is going to get into. Basically, Isaac makes a deal with Malachi that when they go to raid Solomon's, Isaac's going to turn so uh, Arachnid over to um, Malachi but they don't go to Raid Solomon, so this is gonna, everything is gonna get jacked up here. However, it does further Rebecca and um, Isaac's relationship. After Isaac and, after Isaac saves Rebecca, Isaac ends up going to Leah's house, where I love this scene. Basically, Tom, Tommy's getting thrown out, they're fighting, Tommy and Leah's dad, they're fighting, all that, all that jazz. And Isaac shows up and he walks in and he sees uh, Leah get slapped. And he just goes up to Leah's dad and goes, don't fucking touch her. And I, like every scene in this episode, everybody nailed it. Uh, Candace was phenomenal this episode. Jesse was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, just phenomenal. Those are the two that really, everyone did a great, but they really did phenomenal. They really were amazing. Anyway, so, um... Isaac and Leah go into Leah's room after Leah's dad stepping back and be like, holy shit, man, what have I done? And uh, they're talking, Isaac's talking about how he never opens up to anybody. And after that, what happens is, let's see, what happens after that? Actually, oh, when he uh, goes home, Jesus ends up showing up at his door. And we're like, what, what the hell is Jesus doing here? Jesus gives him a note, says Solomon wants to meet up with him at a park, gives him a location. And we find out that the car that Isaac saw with the stalkers when he was at the uh, the Waba was Jesus. So Isaac goes the next day to a soccer field. And one of the biggest plot twists ever is we learn that Solomon is a little girl. Me, originally, I thought the little girl was Isaac's little sister that had died. Turns out that's not the case. We find that out later with the music video that is, oh my god, phenomenal. Cried. Not even gonna lie, I cried. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, uh, she makes Isaac promise that he won't kill her. And what are you going to do? It's a little girl. You can't kill her. And it's kind of funny to think that a little girl has been playing Solomon the whole time. So it does open up the fact that people in the game don't look the same as people in real life. So Rebecca, we still don't know if she's actually a real person. She could be an old man in her basement. That could be a completely, a complete fact. After, uh... So Solomon, or the little girl, uh, talks about how, you know, her life's kind of shit. Her family treated her like crap. She makes a deal with Isaac not to kill her. Isaac agrees because you can't kill a little girl. You can't. And I was just thinking, like, oh, my goodness. Solomon is a little girl. She saw Psycho Ted's nuts. <laughs> okay. On to the next scene, we go to a shot of Solomon in the game. That's no, that's <laughs> Mr. Stahlberger, <laughs> the actual avatar of Solomon. And Michael and Adam, they come into the room. And basically, Michael has Adam join the Brotherhood. So now it's Jesus, Solomon, and Adam in the Brotherhood. And they try to recruit Jinji later, but we'll get to that. Then Solomon states that he owes them more. He fed them XP all the time. So what ends up happening is... Michael gives Solomon the gold gun. So now something something's going to be involved with this gold gun. I'm telling you. And after that, we cut to a shot. I'm pretty sure, yeah, Gingy's in the woods and he's in Eve, but he's still not wrecked. And the servant comes up to him. And the servant's like, you were the chosen one. You know, the same shit he said to Isaac and Adam when they were in the woods in episode uh, four, I think, of season two. Pretty sure. He says the same shit. He has a bunch of XP. And he basically says, you're the chosen one, I'll get you to Haven. And he tricks, he tricks Jinji into going into rank mode. And the minute he goes into rank mode, he goes, oh, by the way, you have to kill Arachnid. So that's the catch. The servant basically tricked him. Michael shows up, says, yo, man, the brothers want you back. And Jinji's like, really, really, really? That's cool. And he's ranking up. He's like, oh, he's eating all the experts. And 
basically, Michael just says, don't, don't stay with him. He's bad. Like, this is not good. He'll betray you. And then Solomon, in real life, the little girl, comes up to Gingy in the woods. She finds up, and Gingy's like, how the hell did you find me? And the little girl is, Jesus told me you went further than the woods. So Jesus basically has tabs on everybody. Solomon has tabs on everybody. So that leads to the question, does Solomon know where Arachnid is? Or Abraham? Do they know where he lives? That could be a question. I don't think they do because he has the uh, lag switcher, which uh, the moderator states he can't tell where he where Arachnid ever is. So I probably Solomon probably doesn't know where Arachnid is. After uh, Solomon basically recruits Gigi, we cut to a scene, and this is where the episode really starts to hit home on everything. This was amazing. So. Arachnid's basically like, all right, guys, we're going to silence. We're going to raid it. And Isaac is just like, no, we can't. And Rebecca's like, what the fuck? Why not? Why can't? Why can't we? Why not? And they uh, they start fighting and all that shit. And, and what ends up happening is they're arguing. And then I'm pretty sure Isaac punches, if I'm, if I'm correct, yeah, he punches Arachnid in the face. And then he says, Rebecca, can I go talk to you? And this is where we finally find out. We finally find out, which I've been saying for so long, so long. I, I, I'm so happy it was right. Isaac's mother is not dead. It's his little sister. And I called it too. His little sister's dead. That's why he's depressed. You heard it here, folks. You heard it here. I feel so happy right now. I feel so happy. We still don't know how she died, though. Me personally... I think, I think she drowned because Isaac said some shit happened to him in the devil inside when Juliet pushes him in the pool in a telltale heart, in a telltale heart. He said some shit happened to me when I was a kid with water. So I'm thinking that he was supposed to be watching her and she drowned. That's why he goes to drown himself so much. And we learn out that yet, then we learn out that yes, his wish is to wish his sister back, which I was calling for so long now. I mean, I'd been calling it forever. And then we have, I, I thought, I thought, and by the way, this scene right here, by, hopefully I get the scene right. How fucking innocent and perfect she was. This was such a beautiful scene. <laughs> and about how she the world of me. I was, that was a beautiful scene. Absolutely incredible scene by Jesse and Candace. You guys really, really incredible incredible scene and then after that we cut to one of the saddest montages i've ever seen and i keep saying it last last week i said the whole devil inside part where he comes back is my favorite part every clip jesse's ever shot in this tops it <laughs> this tops it i mean the montage we get is so heart-wrenching because you see Isaac happy and you see him playing with this little girl his little sister and he talks about how he was a big brother it is so sad it, the music it, the the way he the way it shot it was so sad I, I I was I felt my heart literally felt like it got ripped in pieces and you see Isaac and his little sister and you see they had named this Minecraft world named Eve and all of that. His little sister plays VR and it has like this little shot of Isaac playing VR and his little sister playing VR. And they're playing Minecraft. They're watching TV. They're running around. They're playing tag. They're trying to get food into their mouth. Such an incredible, beautifully well shot scene. You can see Isaac happy. You see him with the beanie and you see Joseph. Joseph is not happy through all of this. He... Looks like he's very depressed and wants to end his life. He takes some of the painkillers, I'm pretty sure. When he's going to clean up all the stuff from Mary's, Mary 2's uh, bed, he takes the painkillers and he pops some and drinks some. Because, you know, we know that uh, he, ha he has had a problem with alcohol in the past. Probably when Isaac's little sister died, he probably had a drinking problem. And then Mary eventually leaving, Isaac's biological mother. He's probably, this is probably bringing him back because now Mary 2 and the child he was supposed to have have left him. Basically, just like Mary and his biological child. Well, both are by his, his biological, but the one he had with Mary, not Mary too. It's very, very sad. And we see, uh, it's just, oh man, I keep looking through it. And basically, Isaac eventually gets Rebecca on the side. And he said, and Rebecca basically says, I'm going to help you get to Haven. 
fuck my wish. Your wish is more important. Which I loved. I loved the scene. Like that I love Leah and Isaac and I'm I'm starting to really, really love Rebecca's character. Originally I wasn't that big of a fan, but these past few episodes, especially this one, I've become such a huge fan of Rebecca. But I still don't know which one I like more. Both I I, I don't know which relationship I like better. Because for all we know, Rebecca could be a bot. I don't think she is, but she could. We didn't think we didn't think Solomon wasn't. She's a fucking ten year old little girl. There's endless possibilities. We know Arachnid's Abraham, and we know Jesus is Jesus, but Rebecca could be a bot. Rebecca be, could be Noah for all we know. I've seen some theories floating around that Noah is Rebecca. Um, but yeah, basically, we're left at the end, and Solomon's basically like, I never should let you guys hook up, and he's making all these jokes. And then Rebecca and Isaac, they're, they're teaming up. They're saying, you know what? We're not going to raid it. We're not going to raid it because she's a little girl. That's and that's gonna be a, a issue. I'm gonna see. I feel like the end is gonna have to be Isaac giving up his wish to save his sister to let the little girl win because he can't kill a little girl unless the little girl uh, leaves the game. I've seen also at the end we're left the choice to either go to the house and kill her or spare her. I voted spare her, but then again, um, I've seen some people comment just off the recent video that. She could just be playing Isaac to get to Haven because she's a little girl, using them, saying, like, hey, I'm a little girl, and using them. Or Solomon looks the same as he does in real life and maybe has his daughter portraying him as Solomon to try and trick Isaac. Just a theory. Might not be true. Just some theories floating around and all that. But we're left the choice to either kill Solomon or spare him. I voted spare him because I do very enjoy the character of Solomon. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, my overall analysis of the episode, by far, um, once again, an amazingly beautifully shot episode. I couldn't get enough of it. I was left wanting even more than I got. Um, by far, my <laughs> my new favorite episode of my virtual escape, my new favorite music video Jesse's ever shot in. Um, every every episode he tops it. Every episode he tops it, and it's incredible. Um, I hopefully, hopefully I, I captured everything. Um, it was such a beautiful video. We got so much more characterization with Rebecca and Isaac's relationship, Leah and Isaac's relationship. And I just would like to point out here that Leah is not a bitch, okay? I've seen a lot of people say Leah's a bitch. She dissed on Isaac. But if you guys remember, I believe in the season finale, I, I may have the episode wrong, but Rebe Leah liked Isaac and she went to go say, hey, I like you. Can we be a thing? And Isaac played her. Isaac was playing her the whole time because he wanted to go out with Rebecca, who he'd met once, and he knew Leah through all of high school. So people were saying Leah's a bitch. She's not a bitch, guys. She liked Isaac for so long, and after Isaac meeting a girl for one day, he likes her over Leah. And then she goes to Tommy. She's not a bitch, guys. She is not. I'm just 